Hi, I'm Michelle. I live at Sigsby Park. Come on in. I want to take you for a tour of my home. So this is the living room. As you enter the house, you walk in here, and most of the time you're going to see two or three kids running around, sitting there playing video games, watching movies, because uh, this is where we spend the most of our time. As you walk through, you'll go to the kitchen, and the great features about this kitchen is that it has great drawers and cabinets. It also has great windows, has a back door, so it's easy to get for the kids to go out and play. I can keep an eye on them this way, I can keep an eye on them this way, and do everything that I knew. I have great countertops so that I can get lots and lots of done when I'm trying to cook. So, and also too, I'd like to add that when they did the renovations, they cut this part out of the walls and so now I can see when someone's coming through the door. I can see what the kids are doing when they're sitting there watching TV and making sure that they're not fighting and doing all that silly stuff that kids do. And now I'm going to take you into the dining room where we have all our family meals. It's great the way the table is situated right in front of these big windows. The kids can get their homework done when the light's still out. In through here is our computer area. I have seen in other houses where they've set the TV over here and then redirected their furniture over here. So there's a couple of different ways. We chose to put our computer over here so that we'd have a separate space when the kids are doing their homework and when we're doing our fun stuff and computer games. So now I'm going to take you back to all the bedrooms. So as you head down the hall, the first thing you come to is the pantry, which is right off the kitchen. It's great. It's got several shelves so that you can get everything in there that you need for a big family. Um, and then the front bathroom, it's great. It has a full shower, no bathtub, but a shower. The sink and a vanity. And we've added some over the toilet shelves just for a little extra space with a large family. And now we are in my boys' room. The thing about this bedroom that's great is it's got great windows, so it gets lots of light. It has a ceiling fan, which is necessary in Key West. You have to have ceiling fans at all time with the humidity. It has a great closet. They have plenty of room. My two boys share this room, so it's nice that they have plenty of space in here. And now we're going to continue on down the hall. As we come out of the kids' room, we have a linen closet right here. It's nice to have that extra space to put, you know, towels, cleaning supplies, things like that behind locked doors for little ones so that, you know, they're not messing with stuff. And then as you come down the hall, you come to the second bathroom. In the second bathroom, it's pretty much the same, only in here you have a bathtub and shower. You'll have a vanity and a sink. And then as you go further down the hall, you get to more bedrooms. Uh, this one here is my mom's room. It's great having grandma nearby. She likes being close with all her grandkids. She has a great space, closet. She loves sitting in the window so she can see all the kids outside. She gets great sunlight. The ceiling fan's great. You need it here in Key West with all the humidity. And we will head into my daughter's room. In here again, she has great light from the front window and then she also has a back window big closet, a ceiling fan, which is necessary, plenty of room for her to play with all her toys. And now I'm going to head back to the master bedroom. And in here is the final room. This is the master. And in here, I love it. It fits our bed perfectly. We have a ceiling fan, a nice closet. We get great light. I can see the outside to the park, so I can check on the kids when they think I'm not looking. And this is our house in a nutshell. When we first moved here, we did live off base. Uh, we lived in a rental property, and it wasn't such a great experience. We had some trouble with our landlord. They weren't as reliable as we needed them to be whenever we needed things fixed around the house. And that has been a night and day change from living off base to living on base. When I call for maintenance, they're there within a day. The maintenance guys are great. They're friendly. They always come in. They do the job right. They're clean. They clean up after themselves. It's not something that always happens when you have a landlord that doesn't really care. Thanks for stopping by. Glad I could share my home with you. Bye.